This is a marbled orb weaver web. I don't know how much you can make out of it. It's a little damaged, but you get the idea. It's an orb, it's a circle with spokes all through the middle. And it looks empty, but that's because, again, you don't know that marbled orb weavers or Halloween spiders or some just called marbled spiders, they hide in a hidey hole. They actually have a retreat. So if you follow the spokes of the plant, you eventually would see a leaf. And the leaf is almost always curled and stuck to the web. And when you look close enough, you'll notice that there's somebody inside that leaf. And it's a colorful yellow and black spider. It can be quite variable. I don't know how much you can pick up with the glare here, but that's the marbled spider, or the marbled orb weaver, the Halloween spider. Always a combination of yellow, black, orange, uh, mostly yellows though. And again, it'll always be hiding, unless it's actively hunting in the middle of the, the leaf, it'll be hiding on the side. Now, even though these are big spiders and they make big three foot webs, if they're hanging in there and something gets caught, even something as small as a gnat or something, they will still eat it. I mean, it's already stuck in there anyways. They need to clean up their web. So they'll eat even the tiniest little thing that gets stuck in their web, which is unusual because most spiders, if it's too small, they either just cut it free and ignore it, but not the marble door weavers. A great little spider, marble door weaver spider, comes out late in the season. And here we're lucky enough to see one and its work hiding here in the woods to all appearances, just an empty web, but really, that's where it is.